So, hello everyone. Um, welcome to this little paint with me. Uh, first, we're gonna make some tea. I chose this extra spicy chai today. It's one of my favorites. It has rooibos and some really nice spices, uh, cardamom and cinnamon and chili, I think, or no, pepper and cloves. And I let that brew for seven minutes and stared at the sun. <laughs> drink some of that tea and get to work um so uh, today i'm gonna be drawing uh or painting um this amanita mushroom i started out uh with some washi tape i taped a little area in my sketchbook i used a han miller sketchbook i don't remember the specific name but um, I started sketching out with a, with a pencil uh, I used a reference picture that I took last uh, autumn of a mushroom in the Finnish forest <laughs> I didn't really think about what I'm gonna be talking here while I paint I'm mainly mainly me painting but also just rambling rambling stuff here because I like my own voice <laughs> I like to talk um, I almost did the the brush in the tea a couple of times so it's a risky move to place it there I should have placed the water cup there instead <laughs> but I always do that but anyways I started with a light wash of colors so I'm using wash paints uh, not not from tubes. I'm using the pan ones, except for the white, which was really dried out. But I made it work. Um, so, anyways, the the pan gouache works a bit like watercolor, but it's more vibrant and pigmented, I would say. And it's a bit more grainy. It's not as you know perfect and smooth. But I I started with some red and orange and just kind of uh, found the lights and the shadows in the mushroom so yeah I, I did this a while ago I'm just recording the audio a bit later because um, quarantine has been <laughs> has been a bit difficult to get anything done or finished yeah the stem I'm using some kind of greenish white kind of off-white green and then lightly washing some leaves with a kind of a minty green color to make a nice base and it was uh, it was a fern I think <laughs> And now I'm painting some fall leaves on the ground with some yellow and kind of a orange brown. And then there was this awesome green moss and that's what I was doing there. And I drank some tea. <laughs> and yeah, and then I put some brown in like in the background in the, it was kind of this in the moss and also dried leaves and everything I kind of made it a bit not so detailed as some of the leaves so it's kind of the it's kind of a more blurry background and you know just point some leaves but anyways here <laughs> the natural light wasn't enough anymore so I turned on my light so that's why the lighting changes here and I've also made some progress apparently <laughs> Anyways, I added some uh, purple and blue in the background for a pop of color to make it more 
more interesting and not so plain and not so monotone. Now I'm adding some white for the spots on the mushroom. I used the kind of dried out white tube wash for this, which was a bit hard. And then I also refined the edges with white because they were kind of kind of glowing. There was kind of sunshine coming from behind or kind of from the upper right corner. And also added some white on the stem. Yeah, just adding white details to kind of know where I'm going with this. Because I'm going to be adding a lot more shadow to it. Oh, and notice how I matched the washi tape to my jumper. <laughs> I had a yellow day. But um, yeah, it was. Uh, I hadn't painted in a while when I made this. And it was kind of nerve-wracking to try to paint something but I really wanted to do this video because I wanted to get this video thing started and I needed something to paint so I was like I'm just gonna paint whatever to get you know the first video going and you know get it out you know get it out of my system <laughs> but um, I added some red kind of underneath the spots um, to make little shadows and also to deepen the the incredible red color that the Amanita muscaria mushrooms have. And I deepened some shadows underneath the spots to make them pop out more. And I added some kind of like a burgundy red as well to some of some to some places. And yeah, and then I added some some shadows on the stem, some detailing with this kind of a teal color, and then some black on the root because it was on the ground and in, in shadow. And then I, I don't think it was black black. I think it's like a, a blue, bluish or brownish black. It's not like full on black. I try not to use black in in my art uh, or in my paintings almost you know almost never if i'm painting like eyeliner then i might use black but it still has like a shade in it it's like a blue black or a red black or a green black you know mm, and i i only use black when i'm painting or drawing with ink but um i added some details in the leaves and in the ground on the ground and then i yeah and i just yeah i just detailed it more and made it a bit um, be darker to have more contrast with the brown dark brown and yeah you see that little bit on the mushroom that's on the left side kind of going up the white bit it, uh, the mushroom had like this tear in it and it was really interesting so I wanted those details in so it's the same color as the stem and at this point I hated it <laughs> especially the background and I was so sure that it would never work out but you know with art you need you need to just push and push and, you know just go at it and keep keep going you will get there like at first you're like excited like oh well at, at first you're scared once you start you're excited and then you realize oh this is not gonna be great and then you work on it and you're like oh maybe this is this will be great and then it won't and then you know you kind of cycle in this like oh this is great oh this is the worst thing i've ever made and you just gotta keep going at it until you're satisfied and if you're not you can always start over or do something else it's not that serious sometimes things just don't work out but i added some darker green on the fern and then some tiny tiny teeny tiny white spots on the mushroom but yeah you just gotta keep going because you will never know, like they always used to say that never judge an unfinished piece. Because it truly is unfinished, you cannot tell how it's gonna look until it's done. And you know, there's so many layers in paintings. You first have the base and then you add shadows and light and then you add details and more details and you know, you just go from like bigger spaces of color to more details and more you know refined things usually and uh, depends on your art style of course 
but you know it takes some time and layers to to finish it it's not like wish wash it's done it's wish wash and wish wash and wish wash again <laughs> it's just continuous painting and painting painting over your painting and i think that's what's fun you know especially with like these videos you you can see the process and like how it came to be because at first it was just like a pencil sketch and now it's this okay so i added some more red details in it and yeah just you know refine 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 and the edge of the mushroom was kind of this it had this kind of a scalloped shadow pattern because of the spots and it was really interesting and i tried to make that come out but yeah then i peeled the tape off very satisfying yeah then i added my signature there to finish it off i used some indian ink and then it was done and here's the finished piece i left the leaves and the background kind of not as detailed as the mushroom so the focus goes there and yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this i really enjoyed making it i will see you again bye